Hello, my name is Technician Anthony Norman with the Denver Police Recruiting Unit. The purpose of this video is to help you prepare for the Denver Civil Service Commission Physical Agility Test that you will be taking as part of the application process to become a Denver Police Officer. This test is very challenging and must be completed in 63 seconds or fewer. So you should prepare yourself physically as well as mentally regardless of your fitness level. We are providing you this information so that you know what to expect and can perform at an optimum level. Now, I'm going to take you on a walk through the physical agility test so that you can prepare yourself. You will be fitted with a utility belt, very similar to this one. It will have an, an operable firearm inside the holster, a handcuff case, two magazine pouches. We will have various sizes that will fit you and a member of the staff will be able to assist you in fitting of the belt. The belt weighs about eight pounds. Please consider this when you are preparing for the test. After you are fitted with the belt, you will take a seat in the golf cart that will simulate a patrol vehicle. A member of the Denver Civil Service Commission will be seated next to you. You'll be read a description of a felony suspect. Please pay attention to the suspect description very carefully. The test will begin when you exit the golf cart and begin running around the track. The first obstacle you will encounter is the fence climb. It is a six foot chain link fence that is secured to the ground with pads on both sides. You will have to climb over the fence using any technique you see fit, but you do have to climb over the fence. Some problems that applicants encounter are that they stop and try to climb the fence. You need to use your momentum to help propel yourself over the fence and to the other side so that you can complete the test in fewer than 63 seconds. The next obstacle you will encounter is the table crawl. It is two standard office sized tables with padding on each side to protect you from hurting yourself. Do not stop to crawl under the table. Make sure you keep your lower back low enough so the utility belt does not get caught on the side of the table. Also be sure you have cleared the tables so you do not bump your head or get your utility belt caught on the table as you exit the obstacle. You must successfully crawl under both tables to pass the test. The next obstacle is the window. The window stands about 50 inches tall and the ledge is five inches deep. There are mats on the other side to protect you when you exit the window. Keep up your momentum while approaching the window and use your leg strength to propel yourself onto the ledge and land on the mats below. Once you have cleared the window, you'll be in this room. There'll be four numbered mannequins on the table. You must call out the numbered mannequin that fits the suspect description that was given to you in the patrol vehicle. Say the number loud and clear so the test proctor can hear you. If you call out the wrong number or the test proctor cannot hear you, you will fail the test. The final part of this test is the dummy drag. The dummy weighs about 150 pounds and is very sturdy, so do not worry about damaging it. You must drag the dummy across the mat, completely past the gray duct tape line. I will emphasize here that all parts of the dummy must pass the line in order to successfully finish the test. You are to consider the dummy as if it was sitting in a vehicle. When you grab it, you can grab any of the straps or grab it from under the arms. You must have some part of the dummy dragging across the ground. It cannot be carried or pushed across the line. When you grab the dummy, use your leg strength to pull the dummy. If you lose grip of the dummy, grab it again and keep dragging it until you cross the line. Again, you must have the entire body of the dummy across the line. The most important thing is to stay safe. This test must be completed within 63 seconds or fewer or you will not pass. This test may seem like an easy test, but please do not underestimate it. This is a very difficult test regardless of your fitness level, expertise, or skills. You only get one shot at passing this test, and success puts you one step closer to becoming a Denver police officer. I hope you found this information helpful. Thank you for watching, and good luck.